Hello and welcome to today's video where we are quickly going to talk about uh, the so-called OB1 function, organization block one. Right? Is it organization? Yeah, organization block one. This one, the one function that all PLCs have in common that's always there. Right? Short explanation on this. An OB, an organization block, because I'm going to start a series now where I'm going to explain a couple of OBs those are really really important when working with PLCs because we have an operating system in the background it's like Windows or Linux or iOS or whatever each PLC has um, an operating system an OPSI uh, in the background it's always running and this operating system decides which function is going to be executed and the OB1 function is Basically, the function, if the PLC doesn't have to do anything important or anything else, it's going to execute the OB1, right? So this is where you, the, your main program is going to sit. Uh, the, and, and whenever the PLC doesn't have to do anything, it's going to execute that. Let's see and learn about it. And then in the next videos, I will explain something about other OBs. Um, let's get into it. Yeah. OB1, the first thing I want to analyze here. The first thing I want to analyze here is the following. I want to add a very simple thing, not a counter. I want to add a mathematical instruction and an add block. And I want to see, I put one here. I want to see um, how fast is this actually happening right now? As I am using a simulation and not an emulation, simulating it on my PC, it is not the real time that a real PLC would take, but it gets pretty close actually. So let's let's check this out. Uh, the OB data. I will just have a counting variable to see. Let's call this uh, cycle count cycle OB one count. And I want this to be in double integer, so we have a broad bandwidth of it. So let's see. This counter I want here. V data cycle count and each cycle every time we get here it will be incremented by one so it will be increased by one so let's see how fast our plc is we can see it with this number right if this number gets fat gets high very very fast it means our plc is actually very very fast starting the simulation and downloading this here and let's see, let's, let's, let's see. This should be something around a millisecond. Uh, cannot error downloading because I probably still have, no, why did that crash? Let's do it again. Sometimes the simulation just gets stuck because I pressed uh, start search here way too fast. So now we should be able to download. So we should have the um, cycle time increasing very fast with approximately one millisecond per increment. So let's see, I can see it on top here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's approximately one millisecond, right? Approximately one millisecond per increment. Right? That's what we have. This is how fast, this is how many cycles my PLC has been doing. This is how many times my PLC has been through the program here quite fast, already 25,000 times, approximately once per millisecond. We can check that out actually closer how fast it is. If we go here to online access, right? online access, and I have my PLC sim here. This is my simulation tool. I can update the interface and I see my PLC, both interfaces are the same PLC. I can select one online diagnostics. And I see here on the right side now in my online tools, right there right in my task card online tools i see this here i see my cycle time which the shortest one that's been there the longest one that's been there and the current or the last um the shortest one has been 0 0.15 milliseconds so very very fast the slowest one 4.5 milliseconds and the current one one milliseconds and you see it's not changing very much it's almost always one millisecond right and this is, this is approximately how the PLC should behave. What you can also see is here, the maximum is actually 150 milliseconds. There is a maximum cycle time. If this, if the PLC takes too long, longer than 100 milli, uh, 50, 150 milliseconds to execute your program, 
it will automatically go into error state and it will go to stop and you have to catch this error somehow. We'll maybe look at this later on. But we can also adjust this one until 150 milliseconds. Uh, right now it's a set speed, right? And it's already 115 milliseconds, uh, uh, 115 seconds. Um, we can change this speed a little bit. If you need to go faster, of course, you would need to buy a faster PLC. Um, but here's the thing. If we go to device configuration, double click on the PLC, we have here in general the so-called cycle. I have to go offline to change something. The so-called cycle, you see, cycle is set to minimum cycle time one millisecond. And also enable minimum cycle time for cyclic obese. If I deactivate this, now my PLC can actually go faster than one millisecond. Now it goes at maximum speed. So if I download this to my simulation, we can now see that this will in increment faster than 1000 per second, right? This is approximately 10,000 per second, right? So it's 10 times faster right now. There's some disadvantages why you wouldn't go faster than a millisecond, uh, like efficiency goes down, some operations actually take some time and you want to evaluate only once per millisecond or so. There's several things actually going on why you don't necessarily want that. So one millisecond leaving it is actually good, but you see right now we're pretty fast. So let's check this out online here. I can see right now my cycle is actually 0 0.12 milliseconds, 0 0.27. You see, it's not that stable anymore as well. In before, it was always almost one millisecond. The faster we go, the more unstable we have it. Like the, the more the changes are, the more the went with here. And that's the first thing we can see. So, but I want to leave that, of course, to uh, enabled. I can also make it slower, like only every second. Now it would only be executed every second, but I have to also set the maximum cycle time, of course, higher than the minimum. And now only once per second, my PLC program would be executed, right? So if I go in here, you will see four, five, six, seven. This is now pretty stable actually at one second. Yeah, this should be, yeah, pretty stable at one second. Doesn't change much, but one second is pretty slow, right? So one second is not too good. We want to keep it at approximately one millisecond. That's good. The second thing we can adjust here is the upper limit, right? The upper limit, this is, if this upper limit is reached, your PLC will go into error state. It could be that you have an infinite loop. It could be that something is broken. It could be that your program is too big. Some calculations are way too complicated, stuff like this. So you should always leave that maximum cycle time active, right? <clears throat> This is the main OB, right? This is where you would put most of your program, but there are other OBs, organization blocks. Uh, but I wanted to cover the theory on this first, right? We have the operating system. The operating system calls the organization blocks. Most important one is the main function, the OB1, which is called right now every millisecond because I set it to a maximum execution count of uh, one per millisecond. Could be faster, could be slower. That's the uh, approximation. Yeah. If you are not sure if your PLC is running too slow or too fast, go into the, your interface here, right? For me, it's PLC Zim because it's on the device, uh, on, on my PC here. Uh, check online diagnostics and you see it here on the right side, online tools. You will see the current cycle time. And you see for me, it's still one second because I haven't downloaded. If I download this now, it should go back down to one millisecond i hope so yeah that's what i said to here we go yeah ob1 uh in the next video i will explain a little bit about ob100 and then some other ob's that are quite important and the operating system calls all of them so we don't really have to take care when they are executed the plc takes care we just put our program in there they're done good that was a little bit different than the, the other times, but I think this is a very important topic. OBs are a very important topic, so uh, I'll see you with the next OB in the next time around. And thank you for watching. If you've got questions, put a comment as always, and subscribe and like, and I'll see you the next time around. Bye-bye.